This question is asking us to determine the scale of the x and y axes in case we are graphing that equation. So let's look at a coordinate grid real quick. x and y, and then the equation is 4x plus 25. So you kind of just need to figure out the general shape of the graph. Is it really tall or short, skinny, narrow? You know, we need to take a look at that. So let's pretend it was you know, just a normal grid of negative 10 to positive 10 on the x, and then negative 10, positive 10 on the y. Next, let's go ahead and estimate what that graph would look like. Well, at 1, right, you'd have 1 times 4, because it's 4x, so the x is 1, plus 25. And you can see already, we have a problem. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 25 is 29. So at 1, the point is actually 1, 29. But you can see that's not going to fit because our x is capped at 10. So anything that short is not going to work for us. It's going to actually going to be a very, very tall and skinny graph, maybe something like this. And so if that's the case, let's look a x scale of negative 10 to 10. Yeah, that's actually big enough because if it was any bigger, like b negative 30 to 30, you wouldn't be able to see it because it's kind of so wide. So negative 10 to positive 10 on the x scale is perfect. Keeps it kind of nice and tight, and you can see it there. The b of x scale negative 30 to positive 30, too big. And then on the y, we have two choices. They both end in 50. We know we need, need something very tall, because the first point is 29. But now it's asking, do you want to go from negative 5 to 50 or negative 50 to 50? Now generally, most problems where you're using a linear equation, especially in context, are going to focus on quadrant 1, this area up here, right, Q1. And since that's the case, I'm going to go ahead and say we probably only care about a y-scale of negative 5 to 50. That'll give you a good view of how this graph is going, um, very, very tall, and you don't really care so much about the negative aspect. So A and C would be our answers here.